Hey storytellers, today's adventure is all about making your characters shine. Join me in Unreal Engine 5.3 as we explore dynamic close-up shots for those impactful dialogues. And this tip is simple but yet powerful. So as you can see, here we have our character with an important dialogue and we want to show the importance of this part with a smooth camera movement and a close-up shot through his face. So as you can see, I've just splitted the viewport and the reason is that I want to show you the movement of the camera through this plan. And look at how smooth and dynamic is the movement of the camera on the viewport on the right side. So let's see how we can create a movement like this. So let's start from scratch and I'm gonna add another camera. Let's maximize the viewport. Let's add another camera set and DSLR film back and 85 millimeter lens. And let's set our frame and change the focus method on tracking. And let's pick up the actor to focus on. Now, I want to focus to the character while the camera starts to move. So let's check this enable look at tracking section. And as you can see by choosing the character, this yellow box is the point that the camera is looking to. And we can control the location of the box with this relative offset option. And actually working with this option and controlling the sliders isn't that simple. But before we continue, let me split the viewport. Actually, you can do that from the layout section right here. Two panels is my favorite user interface when working with the sequencer. Just don't forget to check this allow cinematic control to have better control on your actors. So let's continue. Now it is time to add some movements to our camera. Let's double check everything seems to be okay. And now I'm gonna select my camera and press the S button on the keyboard and it will add a new keyframe to the transform command of your camera and let's set the time slider to the last frame and I'm gonna move my camera and again press the S button to add another keyframe and as you can see we have animated our camera but still we got some problems here. For example I want to keep the face of the character during the shot in my frame and that is a bit hard but not impossible we can do that with this relative offset option and for example let's set the time slider to this frame and set a keyframe and after that we have to play with these sliders to do our framing process but it could be a bit complicated and frustrating to working with these sliders on the relative offset option but I use an alternative way to have better controls when I'm going to use the look at tracking. And that is adding a simple actor to my scene. As you can see, this is a simple actor and I'm gonna place it right in front of the face of my character. And let's rename it, for example, actor carpenter because this character is actually a carpenter. And let's add it to our sequencer by dragging it right here. And after that, I'm gonna pick this actor instead of the head of the character to enable the look at tracking of the camera. And the camera is going to follow this actor, okay? I think everything is clear enough. And after that, I'm going to animate this actor following the head of the character, okay? Now let's move the time slider and here we have a movement and let me zoom and move the actor for example here let's bring it a bit down and create a keyframe by pressing the s button and again let's move it to the right side and just do the same process until we're done and with that being said let's see the results by playing it it's good, it's good, but let me check. Actually, we have a problem right here. 
I want to keep the character's face in the frame as I said before. But before we fix that, I want to have kind of a curve movement and curve shape to the camera just like that. Let's see the results. Seems good to me. But we got another problem. As I said before, I want to keep the character's face in my frame. So this time, instead of playing with the relative offset option and those sliders, now I'm going to refine the location of the actor that I've just created before and placed it in front of the face of the character. For example, this is the spot that I have some problems. And as you can see, simply I can move the actor and by doing that the camera is following the actor and controlling the camera's look at tracking points and spot is much more easier than before and that's a wrap my fellow creators we've unlocked the secrets to dynamic close-ups in Unreal Engine your characters are ready to steal the spotlight until next time keep crafting those compelling stories Thanks for joining and happy creating.